G'day people, I've got some sad news. As of May, Margarita and I, uh, we broke up. She's currently in Portugal and I'm alone on the boat in a place called San Andreas. Um, it's in the middle of the Southwest Caribbean. I'm gonna be leaving here in a few days. I had to leave Panama uh, because of the visa situation. So I had to come here, now I'm gonna go back. Um, what are the reasons for the breakup? Well, look, you probably uh, have seen quite a, a number of reasons yourself as you watch the videos. Um, fundamentally, Marguerite is a very private person and running the vlog was a stress in itself. Living on a boat is a stress, even in the best of times, it's a, it's a difficult time. Also, she's very, very social and we never could quite find cruises that we gelled with. Um, there are very few cruises uh, that we actually ran into that sort of shared the same values. Um, I mean I'm not going to go into the relative merits. If you're on a boat you do as you please. But we never really could find people that we could be chummy with and you know sail or, uh, along with and, and people of Margarita's age you know it's virtually unheard of. So. Well, we didn't meet those people. There's a few around, yes, but we didn't meet these people. So, and the constant seasickness and being away from a family. The Portuguese are very, very family orientated. So, all of these things, and there's lots more, all put together, just makes it a difficult time. Uh, maybe if we did it six months on, six months off, it would have been better. And certainly, if uh, I look back on if we had still had Long Reef, which is a very dangerous game to play, the what if game, but um, I think we would have been in a different situation because we would have been in Asia exploring, you know, Micronesia and Philippines and Thailand. And that would have been a different thing. I think there's more boats there and the sailing's quite easy. There's not really any big passages. Not that we've done any big passages, but. Well, I shouldn't even go there because, as I said, what if is a very dangerous game to play. Um, the, about the breakup, uh, I've never felt like that and I'm still coming to terms with it. I mean, we were so distraught that we kept on questioning whether we should be even doing this. But I mean, it's the right thing to do because we're two people on diverging paths and she's so capable. I mean, I've never met anyone like Margarita, super capable, super tough, super strong, and whenever she puts a mind to anything, boy, can she do it. I couldn't really impart that because of the clash with the, her being so private and uh, me filming, it's, it's, it was a constant stress. So. so my regret for you guys is you never actually got to see the true essence of Margarita uh, properly. And the videos give a distorted view of her. She's far, far, far above, well even what I, even what I could portray. Um, uh, so anyway, so uh, it's a tough time, been very sad. I, it's difficult to make this video. Let's see if we can make it to the end. I, I'm sure I was incapable even of doing it last week because um, it's a sad time. Uh, how I've been getting over it is just basically just getting in the water and just swimming <laughs> for six to eight hours of the day and trying to exhaust myself so I wouldn't wake up in the middle of the night and have my brain cycling over a insurmountable, uh, insurmountable problem that will not be solved, will never be solved and will just drive you mad. Um, I'm already part mad people as you probably know and um, there's no point getting over the tipping point because we never know what will happen. So that's about it. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, well I was incapable of doing this video. Still very, very difficult to do this. Um, but that's the news. With the future, uh, well, it's certainly no cure being on a boat lonely by yourself in the middle of nowhere. So I will be getting crew uh, to help me the video editing because the video editing literally is becoming very, very, well, it's a very big job. Uh, when you have more action-orientated 
vlog it's probably three or four times what an ordinary conversational vlog and the sailing vlogs are a bit like that so when you don't have that the editing is a huge amount of time sorting and putting it in but anyway so i'll be getting some help hopefully we get some nice smiling faces and good conversation and inter interesting people um so while i have this boat i'll be continuing with the vlog uh, and hopefully be fortunate uh, fortunate enough to get some crew to help me out okay so uh i hope you're all well uh i'm gonna be in a few days sailing uh, back to panama by myself um don't be alarmed it's all good it's very very safe uh, there's a lot of storms <laughs> around panama but it's just squalls for half an hour and then dead wind so uh, there's a band of of storms i have to get through which is right at the end but it's basically going to be a doddle so i wouldn't worry about it don't worry about me i know what to do i'm just going to keep on uh, getting in the water and uh, exhausting myself and eventually i know this might be a bit of a depressing video but eventually i'll come back to myself so as I said, I was saying before, uh, I hope you're doing well, and um, well, I'll bid you all good day. <laughs>